with David, but what a great race all around. Very, very good rowing. David? Okay, David, we had a finish, and it looks like you've already had a start. So what do you have going on for semi number two in the men's double? Thank you very much, Joe. 100 meters in, and we are looking at the second semifinal of the men's Lane two, we have Brooks. making a little push here to push themselves into second just slightly over the boat up in lane four, Norwalk River. Those boats have pushed out just a bit, but right there with them, up there is GMS rowing in lane three. So even the boat all the way up at the top from Brophy has connection with everybody except for Row America Rye. So that means the top five boats here are all only spaced out by about two, maybe two and a half boat lengths. But up front, again, your leader, halfway, Bob all is sitting halfway uh, down the deck of your leader. San Diego in a red shell, white blades. They are closer to the attenuator and the camera then Row America Rye. Row America Rye is trying to work out more of a lead, but San Diego is not letting them. The San Diego advantage for second place is about a deck. There for third place between Norwalk River, GMS, two Connecticut crews, two crews that race against each other all the time, and here comes GMS. GMS, big move now. GMS rowing in a blue boat with yellow blades. They just blew right past GMS uh, now, contending for second place up there with San Diego. Looking back in fifth place, you've got Brophy, and in sixth place, you have Long Lake. But back at the front, we'll see what happens here. There's a tremendous race going on for second and third between San Diego and GMS now with it looks like Norwalk River has about a full bow deck of an overlap with both San Diego and GMS. So you got four boats here uh, that are separated by a length and a half going for three spots in the grand final. Up front, you still have Row America Rye. They are trying to win this thing from start to finish. Put themselves in that grand final. Will they be able to hang on? They're out in front as they approach 1,000 meters, looking very strong in that dark double with the blue, white, and red blades from Row America Rye. Those gentlemen wearing white visors, you will see them. They are out in front. They now have a half a boat length lead, maybe three quarters of a boat length. The tremendous battle that is going on between San Diego Rowing Club and GMS. Norwalk River right there. They if they can work their way back in and see if they can try to grab a spot in the semifinals. But those are your top four. Those are the four boats really in contention. Four boats for three spots. Another great race here in the second semifinals. Double. Excellent. Thank you, Dave. For a while there, it looked like the fastest boat on the water was GMS. GMS is really starting to move. They were down at third and fourth, and now they're gone through San Diego, and they're headed for Row America, and they're really powering out. Row America is hanging on as GMS is trying to move into them. Row America has, you can see the bow of GMS right on the bow person of Row America. G, uh, San Diego back in third, and then Norwalk in fourth. Only three, and then on the outside, here comes Brophy. Brophy's trying to enter into the fray. So we've got ourselves a really great race where there's a lot of overlap crews. R Row America Rye is hanging on, and then GMS is hanging right with them. 
We'll see whether or not they decide to take a big move as they are coming into 500 meters to go right now. As we look on our screen, you see Row America ahead, GMS out there in what looks like a blue boat uh, in lane three. Uh, they've been moved back just a little bit because our, uh, we're following right along with the lead ones. And then in lane six is San Diego. So we've got our one, two, three boats right now. And it looks like Row Amer uh, looks like GMS may be dropping off a little bit off the pace. And Row America is holding on. Now San Diego is making a move as they come into the last 250 meters right now where the buoys transition from yellow to red and we've got ourselves an excellent boat race here row america rye in the middle holding off the crews over there two lanes over is gms and then on the inside we have san diego Row America Rye hanging tough, really smooth. Oh, nice drive. Really popping it at the front end. San Diego trying to hold on. On the other side, GMS in the blue boat is in second. San Diego in third. Brophy and Norwalk River fighting for fourth. Our first place crew across the line, Row America, Valiant Row, really withstood the drive from GMS. And third is San Diego. Up to the top, back to you, David. Next race, please. Thank you very much. I'm looking at the first semifinal of the women's youth pair. And let me go 